What's going on YouTube Zap here and what you're looking at is some loadout gameplay. Loadout is a third person shooter that's free to play available now on Steam. So if you have a PC that's capable of running this game I highly recommend it to you. I guarantee you will not be disappointed. So shout out to Loadout and Arctic and everybody else uh, behind making such an amazing game. It is just fantastic and it's probably one of the most purely enjoyable, purely enjoyable third person shooter experiences that I've had in a very long time and you will not regret your download I can guarantee you that now moving forward I want to talk about a game that's on the forefront of everyone's mind and that game is Titanfall as we all know Titanfall has recently received a, a public beta on the Xbox one uh, to all Xbox Live Gold subscribers right so if you have Xbox one and you have Xbox Live Gold you can download the Titanfall beta and finally try it out for yourself if you have a PC, I believe you can still sign up on the Origins website and hopefully they'll email you. Now there are also other more, you know, non-conventional ways on the internet that you can go about getting a uh, PC beta code, but uh, I, I'm not going to really go too far into that. But uh, yeah, the beta is out now and a lot of people are streaming and uploading videos to YouTube and doing all that stuff. And I think it's about time for me to go ahead and give you guys my thoughts on Titanfall as a whole uh, based off of what I've seen. Now granted, I'm going to warn you guys right now, I have not played the Titanfall beta. So you can take whatever I say with a grain of salt. You don't have to take anything uh, you know, for any sort of merit. Just take it for what it is. It's just a guy who has interest in the game, who wants to get the game on PC when it comes out and give it a shot but I do I do not have access to the beta right now so it is what it is you don't have to you don't have to like anything I say I may or may not say something that you like so it is what it is you have been warned so if you chose to watch the video then know that you did so on your own accord now I want to talk about some of the things that I didn't really like about Titanfall's beta from what I've seen and this is the biggest issue with with this game for me Titanfall it's that these bots that are in this game we all know about the bots okay we all know that there's 6v6 players and then there's a there's a butt ton of bots on the map okay the 6v6 is not really my biggest issue it's the bots I, I cannot stand looking at this gameplay for Titanfall without shaking my head and wondering like is this really the direction that this game is going to go in when the final version comes out because the bots essentially serve no real purpose other than being cannon fodder for you to get your titan a lot faster now let me explain uh, for those who might not be aware in titanfall everyone spawns with a default timer that it takes for their titan to actually drop out of the sky and you can use it uh, to my knowledge it's two minutes the default timer it takes two minutes after you've spawned for your titan to drop out of the sky and you can use it if i'm wrong on the timer let me know in the comment section below and i'll you know i'll take you up on that in the comment section uh... but to my knowledge it's two minutes okay now, as you run around the map and you kill uh... bots and human players that time that it takes for your titan to drop decreases so you can be like you know a minute and 45 seconds left before your titan drops and you get like a bunch of kills that one minute and 45 seconds all of a sudden drops to like you know 30 seconds left before your titan falls so the more kills you accumulate the faster your titan will drop and obviously if you kill a human player you get more time taken off of your titan fall than you would if you uh, were to just kill bots now the problem with this is that there are more bots on the map for you to kill than there are humans so most of the gameplay that I've seen involves people running around killing bots upon bots upon bots and dropping titans left and right now that wouldn't be too much of an issue if the bots actually put up a fight and actually served a real purpose now you've got some guys saying that uh, you know the bots resemble how the creeps are in Dota you know their strategic uh, element to the game that makes it so much different. No! You cannot compare the creeps in Dota to uh, you know bots in, in, in a first person shooter. They, you just can't do that. You honestly cannot do that. For those who don't know the creeps in games like Dota and League of Legends they they serve a strategic purpose. You use these creeps to uh, 
capture strategic strongholds on on maps you know disable enemy towers and things like that and hold on to certain points on the map they're not there to just be cannon fodder for you they're not you have to actually use them for your own benefit for your team's benefit the bots in titanfall from what i've gathered are there just as filler for the lack of actual human players and then on top of that by killing them you are actually thoroughly rewarded with a titan you know you can basically run around the map without ever having too much human confrontation uh, aside from you know the occasional run in with a human on a rooftop or something like that you know it's just it's it's just that aspect of the game that kind of throws me off. Now, I could be wrong. Once the full game comes out, things might change. You know, they might make the AI a little bit smarter. Uh, you know, things like that. But you've got people saying, well, it's hard to tell the difference between a human player and a bot. No, it is not. No, it's not. Human players are doing wall jumps. They're jumping on roofs. They're in Titans. They're hanging off the back of a... Uh, 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 your titan trying to disable it, doing things that the bots don't do. The bots usually are crouched, l sitting like on one knee, aiming down their sights at whoever the hell. A lot of times they'll be aiming at a wall. And you mean to tell me you can't tell? Bots don't seem to sprint. Human players sprint. You know, it's these it's these little things that could be touched up on and could make the game a much more enjoyable experience, even with the bots. You know what I'm saying? Now, as I said, they could change some of this stuff up because it is a beta. I'm perfectly well aware of the fact that Titanfall is in its beta stages. However, a little bit of skeptic skepticism arises from me because how many times have we played a beta for a game that was less than maybe one or two months off from launch and it didn't really, you know, differ too much from the actual from the actual game itself, you know? Battlefield 3 comes to mind. Killzone 3 comes to mind. Uh, Resistance 3 comes to mind. Uh, you know, Halo 3 comes to mind. Uh, a lot of these games that had issues during the beta stages didn't really have too many differences uh, in the final product. So, yeah, man. Uh, that guy just disappeared. That is probably my biggest problem right now with Titanfall is just the bots. Uh, other minor problems have to deal with, you know, the visuals are not really all that great. But like I said, it's a beta. We'll see how the actual game looks once the final product comes out. But the, the visuals aren't the best. And uh, I'm not really too big of a fan of the fact that you can shoot, you know, mechs and missiles and do all this stuff around the environment. But the environment takes absolutely no damage at all. You know, not even a piece of a wall comes off. Uh, you know, gravel from the floor is not, you know, blowing all up in your face, things like that. The game doesn't really have a whole lot of detail in it. Now, again, it's just a beta, but I honestly don't see the beta being too far off from the actual game itself, okay? That's just my opinion. So, what are some of the things that I'm looking forward to with Titanfall? Because there are some positives. I will be perfectly honest with you. I'm not completely negative when it comes to Titanfall like a lot of people are. There are some positives. I do want to play this game. By all means, give me Titanfall. I want another FPS to play. So there are some positives to Titanfall that I am actually you know, liking so far from what I'm seeing. The pacing of the game looks smooth as hell. You know, just just the overall movement, the the way that the guns, that the hit detection looks like it's on point. Even for a beta, the hit detection looks spot on. Now that could change as well for the for the worse once the full game comes out. You know, everybody all over the world is playing it. And, you know, these servers are finally put to the test and whatnot. So we don't know about that aspect of it yet. But from what I've seen, the hit detection seems pretty spot on. Movement seems pretty good. All that, all that good stuff. Um, let me see. What else? The, like I said, the movement is, is looking pretty clean. A lot of the streams were looking like garbage. You know, people were playing the game ground-based, like it was still Call of Duty. Uh, and then I went to Arctic stream, and Arctic is playing this game like it's freaking tribes, right? Like, he is, he is wall-jumping, using the, 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 the jetpack, flying all over the place. His movement is so clean in that game. 
that is how Titanfall should be played. That's how the game is meant to look for all of you guys out there. And I wish more people were playing the game like Arctic because it, it, it would actually showcase how uh, how the game is 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 deserving of some of the hype that it's garnering. I can see where all the fun can can be held and can be had with Titanfall. Definitely. You know, I'm not just going to bash it because, you know, it's an Xbox One game or because it's in 720p. I don't really care about that too much. You know, I just want to find a really fun and enjoyable, uh, you know, first person shooter experience. And Titanfall can definitely provide some fun. You know, I'm, I'm willing to give it a shot. So I'm hoping I'm hoping for the best for Titanfall. But I'm going in it, looking at it for what it is, for what I've been shown thus far. And the game definitely has some kinks that need to be ironed out, some things that need to be addressed. I'm hoping that the beta is indeed uh, going to be the time where these where these developers, uh, the guys over at Respawn Entertainment, handle and tackle some of these issues. Uh, but right now, those issues with the bots and everything, they are throwing me off so goddamn much. Like I, I can't get with that. That sucks. Like real talk, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, I am going to end up getting Titanfall on PC. It does look like it's going to be a blast to play. And it's, it's it looks like a good first-person shooter, straight up. You know, bots aside, the game does look hella fun, okay? I'm not even going to sit here and try to bullshit you with some anti-Microsoft, anti anti-Titanfall BS. The game looks fun. Anyone who says that the game does not look fun most certainly lying to you and is definitely on that on that bandwagon because the game for all intents and purposes does look like a really fun experience now how long that fun is going to last is completely up to the person playing it but uh let me know what you guys think in the comment section below uh what do you think about titanfall so far based off of what you've seen in the beta uh have you played titanfall yourself what do you think about it and uh that's pretty much all i got uh 12 kills six deaths 2.0 KD, 21 confirms. I am absolutely godlike and loadout. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.